So, hey everyone, so, for starters, let's get this out of the way. Um, Steam is still, we're, obviously today is, um, March 29th, and Steam, the latest version, even the latest beta version, still works on, uh, 7. I have the March 22nd build, but, um, so, that last video, um, we don't even need to worry about that right now, but, because you can still install it normally, uh, from Steam's website, and it should work just fine on 7 still. But for this video, I want to focus on something a little bit different about Steam, because, like, see up here, it says Steam will stop running on Windows 7 in zero days. And that's, that's just going to stay there forever. I'm going to show you guys how to um, remove that. So for, the, for those of you who, I mean, I don't really mind, but for those of you who um, don't, don't want that, we'll, we'll, this will remove that. So we're going to start off by hitting exit. We're going to exit Steam. It's actually really easy. And then... We're gonna copy this. Um, uh, we're gonna copy that. Uh, dash pretend el eo dash pretend eol dash w10, and then what we're gonna do properties. Um, Yeah, right click, go to properties, and then we're going to go under target, we're going to hit space, and then just uh, do that, hit apply, hit OK, and then we'll start it up. And then I'm going to log on to my Steam account. I'll take just quick second and look at that guys it's gone so now you don't have to it I, it tricks uh, steam in the thinking it's on Windows 10 and um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for now, guys. So thank you for watching.